Alright folks, welcome back. We are going to do uh, part two of Barbarossa to Berlin. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, turn two, uh, summer of 41. Uh, okay. And what may not... Okay. <clears throat> so, uh... One thing looking at this video that uh, is making me re realize that I am uh, an absolute noob here and I do not know what the hell I'm doing. Like I guess when you come up close, the counter is clear, okay? But, uh, where, oh crud, where was it? Oh, uh, Tarno. There. Okay. Uh, looking at what I see of the map, it looks blurry. And that may have something to do with it it's constantly telling me too low frames per second. Uh, I don't know how to fix that, at least on Facebook. Maybe I could fix that if I was not an idiot and knew how to stream through uh, these, these games through uh, OBS. But I do not really know how to do that. I only learned how to run magic through it. And even then, somebody else had to show me how to do it. So, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm trying. So anyway, so I've already got everything uh, ready to go. I did miss the uh, standing fast uh, token. So we are going to roll for allied orders for the turn. Uh, the allies get a two, which is, uh, allied mandatory, uh, offensive, uh, which will probably be either, uh, well, it's allied, so it has to be, uh, the, uh, the West. And then Germany rolled a six, which gets them Hitler's orders. <clears throat> So, uh, a, the Soviet player gets to place three standfast markers on German units. So, Hitler is already interfering in the ground war, and that hurts. Now, I could be, you know, a, 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 a butt and put one of the standfast orders down here on Rommel's Panzer Corps in Africa, uh, which is all the way down here, this unit right here. But <clears throat> while that would possibly be good for the Allies, since they're going to have to conduct an offensive, and it would force me to not withdraw Pan uh, Rommel's Panzers, I don't, I don't know. That might actually be a good play for the Allies to force Rommel to have to stay in place or lose a victory point. But I'm going to attack him anyway, so... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should. That's actually probably not a bad idea. So we're going to put a stand fast down on Rommel. Uh, then we're going to go back up. <clears throat> And logically, I think that the unlucky gathering of Panzer armies right there and this potential breakthrough right here are going to be told to stand fast. So they can attack, but they can't advance. Oh, they can attack, and then they can advance if they are allowed to advance from combat, and that negates the victory point loss. Oh, maybe not. Actually, you know what? I'm willing to give ground to the south. I think I'm going to try to halt the entire northern panzer advances. Uh... 
Gosh, those two panzer armies are still going to attack the Russians no matter what. Which German armies are going to try to advance to do something? Uh, and they have to be next to a unit, so we're going to say that the second panzer in Minsk is going to stand fast and uh, we're going to put it on the, the uh, that seems like such a waste actually you know what let's put it on the ninth army back here because then that if if I mean if they attack they attack it, it, nothing I can do about it and then Rommel down here in Africa. Okay. All right, so that's that. Um, hands have already been drawn up uh, to full size. Uh, the Allies kept their entire hand except one, so they drew one card. Uh, Germany. Uh, I was short a card, apparently, last turn because... Uh, when I counted cards at the end of the turn, I only had five, so I had not drawn a full hand for some stupid reason. So, but I discarded uh, one card for the Germans, and I drew back up. So, to lead off the turn, <clears throat> the Germans are going to go, but I need to read a rule because, yet again, I am... Okay, yes, so yellow means that I can do both. So the Germans are going to play, what's on the camera? So we're going to play Stuka, okay? Maybe played in summer and fall, turns 41 through 43 only. All German attacks versus Soviet Union units this uh, round get plus one to their dice roll modifier. So, I'm going to get four actions. They do not have to all be combat like the first uh, Barbarossa card was. Okay. Uh, ooh. So... This grouping here is going to initiate combat, probably here. Um, they're going to initiate combat to take Riga. Uh, the Panzer armies are going to initiate combat there. I'll try to see if I can break uh, through and advance all the way to Leningrad uh, in one shot. I think these swamps will slow me down, though, uh, there. Uh, I have one action left. Do I want to move Italians up down here in North Africa? Let's see if I can get the whole map in place here. No, not, not at this angle. Yeah, I can't get it. I'd have to have the thing even higher. So this arm isn't big enough. I need another connector to go with this arm to be able to come up high enough to get the whole board. Uh, so down here in Africa... take some of this lighting down because this thing lit up when I was touching it. I guess it's not going to do it now. Anyway, kind of hard to see because of the glare because I have a plastic uh, cover on. I could move an Italian unit in with the Germans to 
try to give them some extra beef. You know, if the Allies do go ahead and press their attack now. And the Italians could absorb some damage too. It's probably not a bad idea. Do I, I don't want to put the Italian Panzers in there. So the Battalion, 2nd Italian Corps here in Benghazi, if they go one, uh, do they have to stop when they enter the mountain? I think... Oh, it's Halt Advance. Oh, okay, so it doesn't stop movement. So one, two, three. So I put the Italian 2nd Corps here. And then that way I'm still holding the line at Gazala. Uh, the Italian tanks are here. So yeah, let's give an order down here to the Italians to not combat movement. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, am I missing anything? Orders have been issued. Uh, um... <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this one while the camera's down here. So the Italian 2nd Corps is going to advance one, two, three, and join up with the uh, Panzer Corps, holding Hellfire Pass under Rommel. <clears throat> Give him a little extra fluff. Uh, for when the Allies uh, probably attack. And then that being done, we will move and shift the camera back up here. So, um, I feel like I want to execute this attack first. So there's 10 points of Panzers attacking <clears throat> the Soviets there. Um... Oh, the Soviets got a good roll. Oh, all that. Man, that is definitely going to go south for the Germans. So, the Russians are defending with two points. And they roll a six, which is inflicting three damage. The Germans are attacking with ten points. They roll a two, which is giving them four. They get a plus one because of the Stukas, which does them... No good unless I have another plus one, which I do not. So they are inflicting four. The Russians are inflicting three. So fourth Panzer is going to take some losses. I'm going to lose the entire uh, Northwest Army. Uh, we get a core that replaces it. There's still one point of loss occurring, so the Russian core will flip <clears throat> at Davinsk. I'm only losing by one point, so I only have to retreat one space. Um, I'm actually going to retreat, retreat into the swamps. The German Panzer armies, both of them will advance into... Devinsk. There's nowhere else for me to advance uh, any extra spaces. If the Russians had retreated there, I could have gone ahead and pushed on into the, the swamps uh, at Sokov, which would have halted the advance, but I would have been <coughs> one closer to Leningrad. So, oh well. Uh, the German Northern Army, 16th and 18th Army, are going to assault Riga. This is pretty much toast. <clears throat> yeah. So they're eliminated. Germans will advance into Riga, uh, which gives them that. Corland has a, a space. We have a space in Vilna. 
pretty no I did not the Russians reclaimed Baronovichi didn't they yeah I think they did <clears throat> because I retreated out of there hmm yeah I think so uh all right and then the third and final go round will be this assault here which is going to be interesting so germans have 10 points they are attacking uh three points worth of army and two points worth of core <coughs> so it's in a swamp so the attacker is going to shift one to the left so the germans are attacking Instead of 9 to 10 column, they're attacking to the 6 to 8 column. Alright, so the 6 to 8 column, they roll a 4, which inflicts 4, but they have plus 1 because of Stuka. So they are inflicting 5 damage on the Russians. The Russian army is a 3. They roll a 6. They're inflicting 4 points of damage on the Germans. Uh, let me keep track of this. I need extra dice to keep track. Yeah, that's all right. So I got to keep track of this. So the Germans are inflicting five. The Russians are inflicting four, and then the the Russian core is inflicting two more. So they are inflicting more losses on the Germans. That is humongous. That is a huge defeat for the Germans. Both of these armies take damage. They don't advance. The Germ the Russians are going to lose three and then I'll lose the core. So Wow. And trust me, it is much easier for the Russians to replace their numbers than it is the Germans. So already the, the Soviet war is going against, uh, against them. So that's action number one. So how this plays out is... You know, go up here. So the Germans have... It's kind of hard to see in this, this little corner. Oh, it's not even on camera either. So, gosh, I can get that on camera. There's, there's no way to do it. Yeah. I'm going to have to tinker with this, I think. Yeah, you can't see it. But anyway, if you look... Where is it? Down here, okay? The strategic redeployment card, reinforcement card, uh, <clears throat> replacement card, excuse me. Reinforcements, and then ops, other events, one ops, partisans. So the Germans took uh, an ops event. So it still counts as an, an event. As an event. Uh, that would be in their box up there in the upper corner that is off camera that you cannot see. Um, <clears throat> so that's their action. All right, now the allied turn. So how, how much are we in here? Uh, 19 minutes, yeah, okay. So, I know the Russians probably need to maneuver, but I'm going to take a gamble. Well, it's actually not that much of a gamble. I'm going to play, so Stuka goes to the German discard pile. I'm going to play Industrial Evacuation. Uh, this has the little uh, star beside it. That means it only gets played once and it's removed from the game. So the Russians will lose this card. It is considered a yellow event if Stalin is still in Moscow, which he currently is. 
This is, allows the play of the Soviet Tank Army Reinforcements card number four, which is in my hand, four turns from now. Uh, and then I add one card to the Allied hand eight turns later. So this is one of those cards where I do need the, uh, the little uh, cards, not cards, but the little tokens to show that stuff has been done. Uh, you know what, instead of having these in the uh, trays, I might put these little tokens in little baggies. So over here, which is again off camera, you can't see it, I'm sorry, the tank army, so it'll go one, two, three, four. So the summer 42, they can play tank armies. And then the plus one card to the hand size, one, two, three, four, in the summer of 43. Uh, and then because it is a yellow card, uh, the Russians actually get five actions. Well, it's not the Russians. It, uh, so that's actually going to be discarded. So the Allies will get five actions. So uh, I think the Allies are going to use two of them down here in Africa and we're going to assault Rommel at Hellfire Pass. That leaves three for the Russians. Um, I actually want the Russian Southwest Front and her core that's with them to attack the German 11th Army in Chernovitsa because that, while it could damage me, could be very beneficial in further weakening the uh, front. Um, gosh, what do I do here? I'm going to activate that position for movement. No, no, don't do that. I'm just going to move that core up. And then I'm going to... One, two, yeah, I'm going to move that core up as well and strengthen the line at Odessa. Now, I could attack the two ger weakened German armies that just got their booties handed to them. And from both these hexes, and that that could really go a long way instead of moving up. That's actually probably not a bad idea. All right, let's do that. So the Russian uh, corps that is here occupying Smolensk will move up, trying to form a defensive line here to protect Moscow. Um, we're not going to do Africa just yet. All right, so both of these groupings of armies are going to assault uh, Covell at the same time. So this is seven points of armies versus six points for the Germans. Um, this is going to be about an even fight, I think. Uh, let's keep track of losses here. So, the Russians, do they have any bump benefit? No, it's defensive fire. Uh, nope. Alright, so the Russians are attacking with, what did I say, seven? 
So they roll four. Uh, there's no defensive bonuses there. So they are inflicting four points on the Germans. Their little lonely core is inflicting one, which is five points on the Germans. Okay. The Germans roll five. So their six cores is inflicting five damage. So this is going to be an even Steven fight. <clears throat> yep so five on five so uh, the German 6th army is going to take three losses and she is going to go to the uh, allied elimination and a core comes over from the reserves to take her place so that's three so they have two more losses to fulfill. So both the core is going to lose both of those. Okay. Now the Russians have to lose five points. So we are going to lose three from the army. And then we're going to take a flip and a flip. Okay. And no advances are made because it was an even fight. So, <clears throat> the allies will play down here that they played a event card. Oh wait, no, we got to do combat down here in Africa. So, alright, so let's uh, turn, can't really see it, but... So the Allies are attacking with six points worth of cores uh, versus four points. Oof. Man. So their six point attack, they roll a five. They're inflicting three. The Germans are defending and they roll six. So they inflicted two. So the Germans lose three, the Allies lose two. So the Allies are going to lose two points on a Commonwealth Corps. The Germans have to lose three, which will be two on the Panzer Corps, one on the Italian Corps, and then the entire task force is going to withdraw. I'm going to withdraw the Italian Corps toward Bir Hakim. I'm going to withdraw the Panzer Corps toward Gazala. And then the two British corps will advance. So the stand fast uh, is negated because I was forced to retreat, so I do not have to honor it. Okay. But it also prevented the Germans from uh, moving them out on the very first action. So that's that. All right, so uh, action number two. <clears throat> oh. Man, I'm almost tempted to play Panzer Refit because I've got one, two, I have two Panzer armies and a Panzer Corps that are are down right now. So the Germans are going to play Panzer Refit, okay, uh, which is removed from the game. So I get four actions because it's a yellow action. Flip any three reduced strength Panzer units, armies, or corps that are in supply to their unreduced side. No space containing an affected Panzer unit may be activated this round. So, we're gonna have to keep track of that. Um, so, Rommel's Panzer Corps is gonna get strengthened back up down here in Africa, but I'm not gonna do anything in Africa. Uh, the first Panzer Army 
is going to get strengthened back up at Covell. I'm going to turn them sideways on the map so I can see what's going on. And then the 4th Panzer Army further north is going to get strengthened back up and it's going to turn sideways. And I think it says no space. So that means I can't even activate 3rd Panzer Army. Nope, I can't even activate 3rd Panzer Army either. Wow. Okay, well, that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, four actions. Uh, I'm going to activate Bucharest here for the Romanians. Because I'm going to get the Romanian armies together uh, up here at Galatz. Soviet Corps, man, they are holding out, buddy. I think I'm going to cut them off and put them out of supply here, though. Uh, we're going to activate the 17th Army for movement. So that's two actions. I'm going to activate the Northern Armies, just three actions. My fourth action is going to be I think 11th Army is going to actually attack backwards into Colonia and knock them out to ensure that I definitely have supply because if if uh, the G Russians were advanced on Yasi, I, I didn't realize that it, the German uh, Army would have been cut off and out of supply. And just in case you're wondering about supply, for any of the, the folks that don't know, the Soviet trenches are not removed until the space is occupied by a German unit. Same goes for, for up here. German entrenchments are not removed unless they are occupied. So they can still be there for an army to reoccupy those, those positions. Uh, uh, have I read that in the rule book? Not that I recall, but I've watched two videos where they played it that way. So, all right. Uh, German 17th Army is going to advance into uh, Lviv, Lviv uh, which removes that. And then I'm also going to go ahead and push up. No, I'm going to hold that. I'm going to hold the line there. Yeah. Because that Southwestern Army group is still a threat. Okay. Uh, and if I remember the rules correctly... Oh, wait, that Soviet trench goes. Uh, I think you execute movements first, then attacks. I could be wrong. Yep, movement, then attack. Good. So... Uh, Oh, wait, I, I removed their tokens up here. So, one, two, three, into the swamp. I'm going to put them all, both into the swamp. I know that they could cut off my supply. Actually, yeah, that's probably not a smart idea. We're going to put one army up against Leningrad. Man, not being able to activate those Panzers stinks. <clears throat> uh, the Romanians are going to move up and form an army group. And then finally, 11th Army is going to attack the Russians here. This is not a guaranteed swarm of uh, destruction because I'm only attacking with three. Plus, I'm attacking into a mountain, which reduces it down to a two. 
So I rolled a six. Yeah, I'm inflicting three damage. The Russian core is only inflicting one, which isn't enough to damage me. So they take three damage and they are smashed. And I will advance into that hex because it's more defensible. I think I need to bring the Hungarians over also and start forming a line with the Hungarians over here. I might even gather all the Bulgarian units up. <clears throat> all right, so that is it. So the Germans took uh, a event ops. <sighs> The Russians are going to play Lend-Lease, which allows the play of the Soviet uh, mechanized fronts cards 31, 37, and 39 on any later turn. Okay. All right. Uh, how long have we been? 36 minutes. A, few, a couple more actions, then I think I'll call it. All right, so... This, okay, not yet. Um, uh, no, not that, no. Alright, I'm gonna call for the OKH conference. Germans uh, allows them to play of Typhoon later, Typhoon, whatever, without a VP penalty. Uh, and it's a yellow, so again, I get actions. So I'm going to take two actions. Uh, my Panzers are now available. But we're going to attack here. And then we're going to advance the other armies up to here. Because I want to be ready to possibly play uh, this card. And allow me to attack Leningrad. Possibly with as many as four armies. Uh, Alright, so that Russian Corps, there's nothing they can do against uh, against me. Even with that terrible roll, so the one strength core rolls a three. Uh, they are inflicting nothing. So even if I play Zukov, it does nothing. While ten points rolling a one, attacking into a swamp, which reduces it. So it's down to a six eight. I rolled a one. I'm inflicting three damage. Yeah, they're smashed. <clears throat> I will uh, advance to Sakov. I think I have to halt my advance in the swamp. Yep. Alright. Oh, I didn't move first. I didn't do my movement first. Alright, they're going to go one, two, three. So that we're up against Leningrad. <clears throat> so that was that. Alright, now the allies. Um. So, I need to verify when placing replacements, reinforcements. Replacements. No, that's.
No, it's reinforcements. It's reinforcements. Where do they go? I can't remember if they go anywhere inside my home country or if they have to go close to a certain city. Oh, Is agent calling for me? Close the garage door and lay it down. Well, I don't want to upset him. Oh, yeah, it'll it'll scare him. Yeah. You want to piss on him? Yeah. Hello. What do you on him? Hello, little boy. Should I shut the, the garage door? No, it's Mama's I got him. Mama's got okay. him. I got oh, you. will be fine. Yes. I got you. Okay, hold on to me. Yes, I know, little boy. Alright, let him in. Hey, Jim. Come here, hey, Jim. I don't want him to feel like he's left out. He did. He didn't talk like that. No, he did not. No, he doesn't like this. It's loud noise. Yeah. Okay, so I'm struggling, folks. Where do. Replacement points. It's not replacements I want, it's reinforcements. Alright, they're just going anywhere in the country. I, I, I'm not going to fight with it. So the Soviet are going to play an event. Uh, Soviet reinforcements. I get the Don Stalingrad Step and Voronezh fronts. Uh, and then four armies go into the reserve box, which are the cores of everybody else. So two and four. And then I get... Who did I say? The Don. The Stalingrad. The Vornez. And the Step. Okay. Uh, Alright, so... Where do we want to try to block? Movement. I think putting one of the fronts there. Putting one of the fronts here. And then I think... Uh, Putting one at Zidimir. I don't think I need to protect Moscow. I think we'll put one at Odessa. The Stalingrad front. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. All right. We are going to call it on that turn. We are three actions in. So a turn is taking longer than I want. Uh, I want to get it to where an entire turn is preferably less than 45 minutes, which is six actions. Plus, I want to look at... Um, I want to look at getting this camera deployed a little better. To where you can see the entire map uh but we'll figure that out anyway
But anyway, so that's the end of part two. Thank you.